Look, his saying he'll get tough on China is only outdone by his bizarre, bizarre claim about the automobile industry. A week ago, a week ago, remember what he was saying with the president? He said, Mr. President, I support it. The rescue of the automobile industry. I did it. I said exactly what you did. I said we'll get them through bankruptcy, etc. Problem is, problem is, he did not. He did not say there should be a. He would not allow a penny, federal money, to help them out. And there was nobody, including Bain Capital, willing to come in and help them out. But here's the thing: this guy is pirouettes more than a ballerina. Now he says, seriously, think, think of what he's saying. Within, within two weeks, Mr. President, I find I've never seen this in public. I've served with eight presidents. I have never seen this in my public life. Within two weeks, he's running an ad in this state saying that, saying that President Obama made the companies go bankrupt, is now gave the industry to the Italians who are selling it to the Chinese. Whoa. Whoa. As we say in my faith, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I mean, what are you talking about? I have never seen anything like that. It's an absolutely patently false assertion. It's such an outrageous assertion that one of the few times in my memory a major American corporation, Chrysler, has felt obliged to go public and say there is no truth. They said Jeep has no intention of shifting production of its Jeep models out of North America to China. Chrysler Corporation, which is highly unusual, said a careful and unbiased reading would have saved unnecessary fantasies and extravagant comments. Ladies and gentlemen, have they no shame? I mean, what? <laughs> Romney will say anything, absolutely anything, to win, it seems. Can't run from the truth. He said in an article entitled that he wrote, let Detroit go bankrupt. 